Selecting a suitable color scheme when you are developing online educational resources is very important. Whether it's your presentation or a backdrop of your video or a web page for your online course, it is important that you select suitable colors which look good with each other. So a particular palette or a set of colors needs to be selected as a group and then you use that color throughout uh, in one project. You might also have some brand colors uh, which you might be interested in using but you want to know which color will look best with your brand colors. So all these type of questions can be answered either by using color theory and this color theory you can uh, use to get a better understanding of colors which colors are uh, professional looking colors or which colors show your authority and these kind of things. But learning color theory is a, a time consuming thing. Fortunately, we have some tools available to us which we can use to select a set of color or color palettes which look best with each other. In this video, I am going to show you a color palette generator which you can use to choose colors for any of your project whether it's educational project or even uh, some other uh, design project. And we are starting right after this short break. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Tahir and if this is your first time, please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video on this channel every Tuesday and Friday. So first let me tell you what I was doing before I came to know about this tool. I was using a Chrome extension called eyedropper and I was using an article on Google which is ranking in Google. If you type 100 best color combinations, uh, you will find an article from canva.com. Canva is a website for graphic designers. So I was using that article. There are 100 best color combinations available uh, in a set of four colors and I normally use two or three colors in my videos as you might have already seen all of my videos on the backdrop they have two or three colors. So I was using those colors and also I was using eyedropper. Uh, if I like some color on the web I use eyedropper to click on that color and eyedropper captures the color for me and then I put the hexadecimal number of that color in my Canva design because Canva gives you the ability to put the color number and I put that color number in Canva and then I design my presentation or any educational resource. But then I came to know about this amazing website which I am going to show you now and it is a color palette generator. So without further ado, let's get started. So in your browser window, you type coolers.co and you will reach on this website. Now it is better to open an account uh, so that you could save the palettes and you click on this sign up button to create an account and then you fill your details and uh, check the boxes. The first uh, might be compulsory and the second if you want and then you create your free account. And I have created my account and now I am logged into my account and now you can start the palette generator from this button. If I click on start the generator, it will generate uh, one color palette consisting of five colors for me. So this is a random palette and if I click on space bar, it will generate another palette for me. So by hitting the space bar, uh, you can select your starting color. This is one way of doing that. Otherwise, let's say you are happy with the red, but you want any other color which looks best with red. So what you can do is, as you can see that there are few icons available on each of these colors. So you click on lock color. So now you are locking this color and now you hit the space bar again. So it will show you some other colors which look good with this red color. Now if for example I want to lock another color, now I can lock these two colors and I click on space bar. Now it will show me those colors which look good for both of these colors. So in this way you can generate various color combinations. And now if you have an account you will see this save button. You click on save, you give it a name, for example your brand name and dash one. So if you want to generate some color palettes for your brand, you can put some tags as well. You can select a project name here as well. So click a project name, for example, 
project 1 add this project and now it is included in this project you can also make collections but i am happy with that so i just click save now if i click on these uh, three lines this is my color palette which i just have saved and if i click on these three dots i can view the palette i can export this palette and if i click export as you can see i can export the palette in an image file in a vector format a css as well if you want to put a css code on your website for example so let us click on the pdf and give it the same name and i export it so i save it on my computer and now let me open this file to show you how it looks and as you can see that my color palette is saved here i have the hexadecimal number of the colors i have rgb hsp and cmyk numbers as well so these are various color systems you might be using an rgb system or a hexadecimal system so it's up to you but now you have a nice pdf for your brand colors now if i click on this explore i can see some of the trending color palettes and you will notice here that 11295 saves of this palette and similarly you can see some other trending palettes here as well so you might be interested in some of the trending palettes and you can select one from here and not only trending you can also see the latest palettes so these are some of the latest palettes and then you have some popular palettes here and these are some of the palettes which are popular in more you can create a gradient and if i click on create gradient now i can select a starting color and ending color and then it will create a gradient these are some example gradients available you can choose from any one of these and you can start so let's say i have a color which is green somewhere or i can put the number of that color here and then i have an ending color as well and i can have let's say a blue color here so a gradient will be created so it needs a little bit of experience which gradient will look uh, good for your website or your uh, video but this is how you can create gradients and if you click on browse all gradients you have lot of gradients available and if you click on these three dots you can edit this gradient you can copy a css code for your website or you can open this gradient in the generator and then you can for example log this color and click on space bar so it will show you another color which looks good with this color and the good thing is that you always have a color name as well so now if i unlock this and i log this color and click space bar it will show me another color best looking with this color and i can still press space bars and it will keep giving me more options which look best with this particular color and this is the most powerful feature which i would like to use for my videos because in my video backdrop i normally use two main colors so in this way i can select these two colors now you have the ability to create a color collage and now if i upload any image let us say i want to create a color collage of this image so it will extract all the colors uh, of this image and now i have all the colors which are present in this image and i have various options here uh, various layouts available here i can use any of these layouts and there are some more like this you can also select a different aspect ratio by clicking on that and then selecting any aspect ratio 16 by 9 is also available and then you have the ability to export this image you can also create palette from any photo so if i uh, click on this i uh, know i can take a picture i can search on google and i can also upload an image from my computer uh, let us assume i select this image and now when i click on any part of this image i can choose my color from this image now if i click on plus uh, another color will be added and now i can choose any of these so let's say i want to choose the second color this one and the first color i want to choose green so i click on green and the last color i want to choose 
yellow so i click first on this color and then i choose one from the image so in this way it will change if i want to change the middle one i first click on this and then i click on any color in the image so it will change to that color so in this way you can extract your palette from any of your images very powerful let's close it and for exporting you have this uh, shortcut control e so you can anytime press control e and you will see this export palette dialog box and you can export a palette in a vector format as well which is svg there is also this icon adjust palette and if i click on this now i can adjust some of the other parameters of this color for example the temperature brightness saturation and hue so i simply move this a little bit and this is the original one and this is the changed one so in this way you can adjust some other parameters and if you don't like you just put zero here and now both are same but if you want to change any of these things you can change and you can apply them if you apply only one set of five colors will be uh, visible to you with their new numbers so this is a very powerful color palette generator tool available web based and very intuitive now if you have used tags while uh, saving these palettes uh, let me save this palette so i can save it and now if i have used tags when saving this palette so then we, i have the ability to search for example i have hundreds of palettes here uh, on the right hand side and i am using tags for those so i would be able to search those palettes with tags as well so you can prepare a document for your uh, company in which you control the tags or the names of the palettes or if you have clients uh, you can prepare a document for each client and then you can assign the tags or color uh, palette names and in this way you can get organized so this tool provides you all the features which you need for handling colors and it has a lot of amazing features and now i think that i don't have to look at any article or i don't even have to use eyedropper because i can choose any color i can lock that color and i can find all those colors which will look best with that particular color of my choice or color of my brand so it is very simple to use uh, you don't have to download or install anything now i hope you like this video and now you would be able to generate color palettes for your project so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up thanks for watching and see you next time